Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at using McAfee Stinger, show you a little bit about what it does, how it works. First thing you want to do is download the 32 or 64 bit version depending what you have. If you don't know, you can go to your control panel. I don't want to give away my key but you can go to your control panel system, come down here to about and it'll tell you right about here if it's 32 or 64 bit. So once you've got it, simply double click it. It will give you a little heads up that it's going to install a program called Real Protect. How to remove it when you're done. If you got this far, who knows, you might actually need it. Click the I accept. And now you have your scan. So you can customize your scan, simply scan everything. And let me warn you, it takes a while. I was 20, 30 minutes in waiting for it to finish scanning, and I'm running a newer i7 processor with somewhere around 32 gigs of RAM and an SSD drive. So it can take a long time. So you might want to consider at this point rebooting and tap or hold the F8 key. And when you get the screen that pops up, the black and white screen, choose safe mode or safe mode with networking. It may run faster from there. That's just an option, but you can run it for Windows, but plan on some uh, free time when you do it. Optionally, you can come into the advanced and you can take a look at the threat list. Here's all the programs that it looks for. Very handy if you used malware bytes, super anti spyware, IOBit malware fighter, and it didn't find your problem. This is one of those niche tools that's going to go in and find certain types of malware root kits that are difficult to remove. Once again, some of this stuff you're probably not going to want to mess with, including the blacklist. In my opinion, there's not too much in here to play around with unless you really know what you're doing. Now, under settings, it's already going to do all these things, but root kits is not checked. If you suspect you have a root kit, you're going to want to check that box as well. So let's see here report applications that will send something to McAfee and tell them what they found repair report rename remove best bet is repair so once again most of the default settings unless you're looking to do something in particular that you know about this should work just the way it is so I'm not going to do a complete scan but I'm going to attempt to do something real quick like a folder that's probably empty so we can just kind of bang through it I don't think I have anything in the pictures so uh, let's do the scan Give it a couple of minutes here to scan, just to give you an idea how long it can take just to do, you know, certain things. And in this case, you can see how long it's taken just to scan a particular file. You can show your details as well. And if it finds anything, it'll tell you what the file name is, what the threat is, and what kind of action is going to be taken in order to remove it. So, yeah, this is going to be a while. There it goes. Yay. So even though I told it pictures, it must have decided to look anywhere it knows they're at as well. So no threats found. If it will, again, it'll tell you everything that's done here. You can view your log right here, or as you can see right here on the desktop, it's already created a log for you that you can open up. You can also take that log file and you can send it to somebody if somebody decided that for example, you're in a forum and they needed your help. They said, hey, run this and uh, see what you got. So there are your results. As you can see, normally if you have a problem, it's not going to be empty like that. And that's the file that you can share with somebody who says, hey, run McAfee Stinger, send me the log file. Pretty much as simple as that. There's not too much more to do with it. Um, any kind of quarantine over time will be listed. And obviously any log files it's created over time. So in this case, I know I'm done with it. So... If I wanted to get rid of the log file, I could clear it out. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much as simple as download and scan. But once again, safe mode might help. And make sure you got some time. There you go. That's the basics of using McAfee Stinger. And as always, we thank you for watching. And we will see you next time.